In the last few years, we have seen an incredible surge of AI-powered 3D tools, which have taken the 3D industry by storm. This impact caught many artists off guard, myself included, as we witnessed almost every tech company around the globe jump on the wagon by producing tools that can in theory replace us when it comes to certain tasks. However, what if I told you that it is not all doom and gloom, because AI and automation has the potential to impact the 3D industry in either a positive way to make it a creative paradise for 3D artists or a living hell on the other side. And based on that, we can only wonder, when does AI and automation help 3D artists and when it doesn't help or maybe replace us as artists? AI currently stands as a technology that is often seen through the lenses of skepticism and concern, because it gives us the impression that the new robot overlords just landed on Earth with a solo mission of replacing us as human beings and in the case of AI, as artists. However, before we turn into a movie plot, we will look beneath the surface because there is an immense potential for AI to help 3D artists because honestly, we probably need to look at the bright side because I think AI is here to stay. AI and automated algorithms can for example automate the boring and soul draining tasks that nobody enjoys, like the never ending chore of UV unwrapping and UV packing. And to be honest, it is about as fun as watching paint dry. On a side note, UV unwrapping is the process of turning a 3D model into flat 2D surfaces as a way to tell the 3D software how and where to place 2D textures. And then packing is arranging the UV islands within the UV space to optimize the texture usage and minimize wasted space. The manual process isn't so fun because you have to manually divide the models into flat 2D shapes by making seams and then endlessly moving them around and editing like there is no tomorrow. But hey, there are some tools and add-ons that makes this process a lot easier. And I bet no one is complaining about that. But that's just one of the many boring tasks that 3D artists have to deal with on a daily basis. For example, we also have retopology, which is the process of modeling an object again, but only doing it with a clean and optimized topology. This process can be fun sometimes, but when you have to work on a lot of characters, for example, it becomes time consuming and mostly boring. So I think most people would rather not do it manually and use some add-ons or tools that help them automate the process. Another thing I can think of is creating repetitive animations like generic walk cycles or rigging repetitive rigs that you have to adjust to make sure that they can work properly. Because to be honest, rigging is just a process that allows you to do the fun part, which is animation. What is also important to note is that AI can serve as a great solution to enhance creativity or become an assistant in a sense. For instance, it can be used as a tool to generate concept art or models to function as a starting point or going in the opposite direction and designing a render or an animation with 3D first and then using AI to generate new ideas based on it. To give you an idea of how AI can serve as an assistant, let's take a look at a tool called Stable Projectors, which is a free tool for generating textures via stable diffusion, and then use the various painting techniques the service offers to paint over and mask out the textures on top of any 3D model. And while it is true that a lot of people enjoy making textures, a lot of other artists like to skip this process. So a tool like this in a nutshell takes care of the unwanted work if you don't want to do it and leaves the fun and creative part of 3D modeling, animation, and so on. However, AI can be a double-edged sword, as you may already know. Because on the flip side of the story, what really concerns me about AI as a phenomenon in the 3D industry is how it is actively developed to eliminate the fun part and exciting aspects of 3D art. Before we continue, let me tell you about CG Dream. CG Dream AI from CG Trader is an easy to use and artist friendly image generation AI developed specifically to be both versatile and user friendly. 
Most AIs out there either are too complicated with a ton of moving parts or too simple lacking any control. That's why CG Dream strikes the perfect balance, offering you a tool that is both flexible and intuitive. On top of the traditional text prompt, this AI app allows you to use 3D models to control the structure of your images. Sometimes words can describe what you want, and the tool allows you to manipulate and place 3D models, set the perspective, and generate any style or prompt you want. In other words, 3D designers can use this tool to render photorealistic images instead of the slow ray tracing rendering. There are also filters which can drastically help guide the generation process, and there are a ton of them. You can stack up to 5 filters and then adjust their strengths. For example, you can mix medieval, fantasy, and post-apocalyptic filters, and with a very simple prompt that goes like medieval fantasy apocalyptic street, you can create an interesting style or environment. In the end, you can upscale your image which will enhance the details and even introduce new ones. Then you can easily compare the original and the upscaled images to see the difference. Another great feature is the ability to upload your own images to create them and soon things like styles and style transfer will be added which will open the door for more possibilities. I mean open the door for image to image editing. And finally dream up feature which is this small button next to the generation button which helps you expand your prompt and improve coherence. So, if you want to try this amazing AI for free, click the first link down in the description. Let's take a look at 3D modeling for example, where we have witnessed the emergence of tools that can generate 3D assets from text or images. Tools such as Triple 3 d Luma AI, or Nvidia's Instant Nerfs, just to name a few. Which is scary to be honest. While fun can be different from one person to another, we can find different opinions. Some people think that 3D modeling is great, and others see it as a waste of time, especially if they are working on a lot of projects and they need to deliver. Like for example for ArcVis artists, the most important thing is creating cool renders, not modeling 3D assets. On the other hand, for example someone working as an environment artist or as a character artist, creating 3D assets is a very important part of their job. So technically AI is trying to replace them. But generally speaking, for most artists, the last thing you want to focus on is repetitive tasks that offer no sense of fulfillment, such as cleaning the model's topology or doing UVs. So instead, you would desire to find joy in the creative process and expressing your artistic vision through modeling, sculpting, or animation. So, generally speaking, it is a process that 3D artists want to retain control over because if AI takes that away from us, in a sense, it is taking away our identity and something that we take immense pride in. You see, if AI started generating 3D models and doing complete and finished animations and handling creative problem solving, it's like transforming our art form into a dystopian universe that feels like a typical 9 to 5 which is something that creative people tend to run away from. In a similar vein, the same argument could be made about character animators. In addition to environment designers, lighting artists, motion designers, and many other jobs within the industry. So to avoid repetition, let's just use the case of character animators as an example. Animators find immense joy in the process of animating characters themselves, because it allows them to breathe life into their creations in a way that aligns with their vision, by subtly adding mannerisms and storytelling elements into every movement, as a way to advance any sort of plot, or to evoke deep emotions within the viewers. If we think about it, it is the heart of any art form, and a factor that artists like to keep for themselves. However, with the rise of AI-powered video to animation models like Deep Motion and text to animation models like Vmotionize, there is a shared concern bubbling under the surface, which is that these powerful AI models will overshadow the roles of 3D artists in the future and turn them into just an assistant rather than the main creative force in the 3D field, and eventually maybe in the future replace some jobs, god forbid. But could that be possible? Or is it just an exaggeration? I think that we can comfortably say that AI is becoming a force 
that will hopefully find a balance with both a bright side full of excitement for 3D artists. I mean, it will allow us to save time and effort and create cool things in addition to the other side that can potentially lead to impacting the entire industry. But let me tell you, while I can't predict the future and what I'm about to say is just a speculation, I don't think that AI has what it takes to replace 3D artists, at least for the time being or for the next few years. You see, in the work of 3D, there is more than meets the eye. No matter what kind of illusion or tricks AI tools can produce, it is still a bit far from being practical. And currently, AI in 3D is in its very early stages, and its development is way slower than what we have seen in 2D art, like with Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, DALL-E, and all the other 2D generators that we have seen. Sure, in the future AI may lead to a reduced demand for lower-end jobs in 3D, but who wants to be mediocre anyways? I believe there will always be a need for skillful 3D artists, and for the ones that are brave enough to face any situation, we need to keep learning, adapting, instead of remaining stiff or never willing to change. Just like Bruce Lee said, be like water. If you put it in the bottle, it becomes the bottle, and if you put it in the teapot, it becomes the teapot. Because otherwise, if AI becomes much stronger, if we can't adapt, it will break our will. But hopefully, this will not be the case. Anyways, this is just my opinion, and if you have a different perspective, please leave it in the comment section down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.